Okay, so the garden is starting to pick up again. It is Sunday morning. And if you've been with me for a while, you know Sunday morning is harvesting time. Alright, so I'm going to try and get what I can get out of the garden. Alright, so... Yeah, and if you're new here, I am Marie. And this is my little container garden. Welcome, welcome to Farming on the Rocks. Let's go get some food and get it in the house. These are my red callaloo or amaranth. And they grow so quickly. So I'm going to harvest these this morning. Alright, so here we have a lovely bunch that I'm going to be doing for breakfast. These banana peppers are just doing awesome. I need to take off some to help the plant. Help the plant to continue producing for these little ones to develop. There's so many little ones on there. So I'm going to harvest the bigger ones this morning. Look at the size of this one. Oh wow. I've gotten so many from this plant already. Once I take these one off, they just start coming on again. I'm taking the ones that are brightly colored and leave the, the ones that are a little bit lighter in color. Now these are my kidney beans. If you look closely, there are some that are getting to the point where I need to take them off. Well, they're at that point, they're getting dry. And if I allow them to stay on too long, they're going to split and uh, in an effort to re-sow themselves. I need to take them off before they do that and leave the others to develop. But these ones are fully developed. Now these I'm going to dry, they're drying beans. So I'm going to harvest them and allow them to dry out some more before I store them away. So I got quite a few beans. It's a lovely little lot of beans. These peppers are overloaded, so I need to take off the ones that are blushing and the ones that are ripe and allow the others to develop. I'm to harvest these. All the ones that are showing me colors and um, so the little ones can develop up top. I've harvested so many of these off camera. I just can't remember all the time to grab the camera when I'm coming out. Here. I thought this one was orange, but it looks red to me now. 
seeing the plant is producing both orange and red. I'm going to allow the others to ripen some more on the plants. I don't want to take up more than I can use up before they go bad. And these I don't want to freeze, I want to use them fresh. These are my jalapeno peppers and they're turning red. So I'm going to harvest them because the plants have so many little ones on it. I have to take off these bigger ones so that the plant can send the energy into the, the smaller ones. I might pickle some of these for sandwiches. These little plants produce so many peppers. I wish everything in the garden produced as well as the peppers do. This is my little all of jalapeno peppers, my first harvest of jalapeno peppers. My cayenne pepper is not doing any less. The banana pepper has nothing on my cayenne pepper. I'm going to harvest these. I'm definitely going to pickle these to having sardines and tunas and stuff like that. I produce so many. Yeah, so those are my cayenne peppers for this morning. These things are fiery hot. I love them. Anything fish, these I enjoy on them. Very hot. Well, these are the last of my beetroot. And they're not looking too shabby. I'm going to harvest these to make some June plum and beetroot juice tomorrow. That's all. It's on the smaller side, but it's all right. So, yes, that's my beetroot. All I got six. That's good enough for me. I am happy with that because I've gotten so many large ones from it. This is just fine. I have one cucumber on this plant, even though it's yellow, it's still producing. It's a nice cucumber right here. I can have it fresh on our salad. Really nice one. And the breeze, Evina? Eh, the breeze. Never choose it blow until we climb the tree. I want the breeze to blow a long time. <laughs> Just so we can come out of the tree before the breeze blow you out. <laughs> okay, so my pumpkin vine has totally died off. I'm gonna get the last three off of it, and there's a squash bug nest on this pumpkin. What are they going to eat now? I'm not sure what they're going to eat now, but I'm taking my pumpkin. There's a small one somewhere here, right? This one is so tiny. All right. And one more that is ready. And then there is one more that's not ready. Here is this one right here. 
Oh, totally dry it out. Last one I harvested this small, I thought it wasn't good, but it was so good. So I have no doubt these ones will be good as well. So yeah, I got about 25 from this vine alone. So grateful. I will be freezing these because my pumpkins that I just replanted will be taking a while before they produce. Those are two of them right here. So these will be frozen. So I have them for my soups and rice and stuff like that. Time to get a few hot peppers, scotch bonnet pepper. These, these plants are so faithful. I can't be more grateful for them. Don't understand why scotch bonnet pepper is so expensive and it is so easy to do. This is all that I'm going to take one more. They're so easy to grow. In this one cabbage this morning. A lovely head of cabbage. That's all I'm going to be harvesting. Look at my green color, Lou, guys. It's coming in so nice. That's all I'm going to be harvesting for this morning because I, I don't want to take out of the garden what I don't need to use. So thank you so much for joining me this morning. And as always, like, leave a comment, share with your friends. Thank you so much to my subscribers, old and new. Thank you. It means so much to me that you're there hanging in with me on this my journey. Alright, thank you so much. Bye-bye.